Hi everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name's Nikki. Um, we are a family of four and we cash stuff our spare money every week here on YouTube and it just keeps us accountable as everybody says and keeps us um, organised for the year really. I just cash stuff purely so we're organised for all the events that come up, birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, things for the car, just all those things. So stick around guys, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> so we've got the autumn set up. If you haven't seen that video, it's the one before this one. And I've, I've decided to light my candle today. Spiced pumpkin nog. I've been so excited to start it. Do you know what? I did the school run yesterday and it was cold. There was a cold feeling in the air and I wasn't mad about it. I loved it. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Hold on, let's see what we can do. Um, there we go. We'll do that just because I love a bit of sun, but not when I'm filming. It irritates me. So today we are cash stuffing £125. So let's just double check we've got that. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 115 and £10 coins over there. We've also got 10p there actually as well. Two 10p's to go into one of my little penny savings bags. So let's do that. I haven't used this tray in a while. Right, let's get the thingy out a minute. There she is, that's the 10p one. Now, what side does she open? There she is. So I'll just mark those two off a minute. How did everybody's, anyone that has kids, how did your kids find going back to school and going for the first time? Our little one started, ooh, our little one started for the first time yesterday and he went in smiling, he was happy and I was just so happy for him. So glad that he went in okay because I had nerves about it. Today he went in, he wasn't mm, wasn't too keen about going in today. We didn't have tears but he was a bit like, wanted a few cuddles before he went in. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad he's gone back. Our eldest has gone back great. He was really excited to see his friends when we pulled up yesterday. So that was really cute. He was like shouting all their names when he was seeing them. <laughs> Bless him. Um, I did cry the whole way home though. <laughs> After dropping them off, I cried the whole way home. And my partner rang me and was like, are you okay? He's like, you're normally crying. And I was like, I am crying. So yeah, he knew that I'd be in a big emotional state. So there we go. That's the pennies done for this week. I only literally had two 10 peas in my purse. Um, how do you how are you finding the cute little autumn setup? I'm loving it so far. So cute. All my favourite colours, all in one. <laughs> so let's start with the annuals binder. This is the new annuals binder. I this isn't actually a new binder. I've had this for over a year, but it's new for autumn. Dashboard by Bethany Budgets. So as always, we are starting with our anniversary envelope, and we've only got two icons left now. So I'm going to do one today five pounds and then we've got one left so we should have 70 in here now so 20 40 50 55 60 65 70 lovely that's cool so i'll just color in one more table a second yay so that one will be complete by next week we just need one more little table and then we're actually going the weekend after that so worked out nicely with that Ideal. Cool. Nice. So that's back in here. Autumn and Halloween. That's the next one. So I'm going to put £10 in here today just so we can sort of do this in advance. I'd like to get it done at the end of September, really, would be ideal. Ready for October. So I'm going to put a £10 note in that one today. So we've now got 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55 pounds in autumn and Halloween. And this is for any costumes or anything that the kiddies would like. We've already got one actually. Um, we got one given to us the other day, like someone had grown out of a vampire costume. So we use some of those. And then my eldest son, I'm going to buy him um, 
a vampire but he might change his mind before then we've still got plenty of time haven't we so yep and then i'm hoping to get a few little bits of autumn decor maybe some cushions uh, whatever tickles my fancy and I, i've seen lots of nice stuff already but i'm trying to hold out trying to get this done first I filled up my autumn cup by buying all of these autumn, autumnal bits anyway, so. Yay, so there's two. Don't look too closely because they're very scruffily coloured. <laughs> there we go. So that one's going in here. And whilst I've got this binder out, I'm going to flip back to um, Cini's birthday. So that's our eldest little boy and I'm going to put a fiver in here and start it his birthday is the middle of February but I'm I never start um early enough I'm always like doing things last minute and that's what I want to change in the next sort of six 12 months like going into 2025 I want to be more prepared than I ever have been so let's do um let's grab that color let's just do Oh no, actually, no, each pinata is going to be a tenner, actually. So I'm not going to colour one in today because I'm only putting five in. Lovely. And for that one, I've gone for the rainbow smashing birthday. Cool. He's going to be seven. What? Craziness. So that binder is done. Ideal. Next up, we have our high priority binder. So these are my beautiful, well, this, sorry, this is my beautiful forest green pebble binder with a stunning little dashboard inside so happy with how everything looks it all came together just how i wanted it to um so yeah center parks center parks is going to get 20 pounds today lovely that one actually got a bit of a boost in the last video my autumn setup so today we're popping should we put yeah let's put two tens in save the 20 for the Christmas one. So now we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250, 255, 260. Lovely. So we can colour in one more cabin, which is nice. Oh, and actually, Let's colour this one in. Once I've coloured this one, we're halfway through the um, tracker. We're literally 50% of the way saved up. So that's good. I did say on my last video, though, that we, we do about £500, but I'm thinking of maybe extending that to 600 just because we want to do a little bit more when, they're there this, when we're there this time and just have a little bit more freedom. We don't have to spend it. We can bring it back with us. So that is now done, complete. Gorgeous. Now, oh, emergency fund is next, and I've got that on my list because I'm not giving it enough attention. Because we've had school holidays and stuff, I've been focusing on that and school uniform, but that's all out of the way now. So next up, we're going to put £10 into our emergency fund. So I'm going to colour that one in, a nice dark orange, because there's no orange on this side of the tracker, so let's colour that one in a second. I'm going to have to go and get my tin because I forgot to grab it so i'll grab that and we will put 10 pounds into our tin here she is got her so i keep our emergency fund just in here um fun fact about our emergency fund so last year when we were cash stuffing this would be the first fund that i just like you know if you're like oh i just need 20 quid or something i'd grab it on out of this so i thought no because this is the one i want to build up and it's important so i don't want to ever tap it so I thought, let's grab one of these tins and shove it in there. So that's what we've been doing. Lovely. Next is van. So our whole van envelope got emptied last week, getting tyres for the van. So I'm going to start that one off again. So £5. I'm glad they're done, though. So that's that. Our boys, they've got five in there. I'm going to put another five in. And this, I'm just going to keep putting bits in every week until it's really cold and they need some jumpers and bits like that and I'm also going to put five pounds into this one now this I did use this for school uniform for this year hold on let's see if I can grab it out in a minute but it's actually called school bits so this was for uniform trips anything like that 
I'll take this tracker out just for a minute. Um, I am actually going to make a school binder at some point um, for school uniform, school bits and bobs like that, like trips and stuff. And also all of the summer holidays, just so I can save for those as well. I think if I have a binder for it and I do it in date order, a bit like I do with my annuals one, um, then I can keep on top of the holidays and stuff and be a bit more organised with it. So school bits. That is for, obviously the boys went to school yesterday for the first time for this year, this new term, sorry. I've just got a feeling there's going to be trips and stuff sooner than we think. So let's get ahead of the game and put some money aside for any trips that may come up in the next month or two. So that one's done with. Next up, we're going to go to our Christmas binder. Now, Christmas binder is the only one that hasn't changed. I haven't changed it, but it is pending a glow up. I've got a new binder for it and stuff. I'm just making the envelopes for it and oh, I've started them. It's just a long process and I've just got a million other things that I've been doing, but I'll get them done soon. I promise. All right. I'll try and get them done in the next week or two. <laughs> so £30 is going into our binder today for Christmas but I did want to replace this one first because we completed this this is the winner winner turkey dinner tracker and instead of putting money in here every time I hit five pounds on the jam donut app when I do my food shop I just knock it off on there so that one's done I'm going to replace it with the same challenge but this is a laminated one whoop this is one of my whoopsies so yeah I'm going to colour in four turkeys on this today because I have got up to another £20 um, on jam donut now. So let's get the colours out for that one. It's grey and baby peachy orange. Thank you so much for anyone that's joined. I hope you enjoy it. I've had people message me saying, oh my goodness, I love that app. I wish I found it, found it earlier. And that's exactly how I feel. I found it, I think, April, May time. And you just... You just um, buy a voucher on there before you do food shop and then you scan it at either the till or online if you do an online food shop. And it gives you like three or four pounds every time you do a food shop and it's just blimmin' brilliant. So I'm excited to use it next year and see how much I can get throughout the whole year. Um, it's just fab. And like Ikea, if you've got an Ikea near you, that's always like 6%. So say if you're going to buy a piece of furniture for 100 quid, you'll get £6 straight in your little pot. So four little turkeys on here. Cute. Um, the link's below if you are, if you do want to check it out and have a little look. Save some pennies. I think it's going to be really handy around Christmas. So like there's Argos on there. Um, what else? JD Sports, Sports Direct, like all of the main high street shops that you would shop at. TK Maxx is on there. I think that's like quite a high one. I think that's six or seven percent. So definitely worth a little check out. But I don't want to bore everyone to death and talk about it every single time. So there we go. That is our four little turkeys coloured in. Where's my black one so I can put the goal again? So each turkey is five pounds. And that should total £100. Lovely. Amazing. Let's give it a little shake so it dries off. Nice. So the £30 is going to go into our boys' envelope. This is the one we've been working on. And we're very close to the end now. We're on the final stretch. And I can't wait to just start a new envelope then. And work on something else. So... We'll put a 20 and a 10 in. We've spent 50 already, so I'm using that as like a placeholder. Bought them a few bits as we see them. And there's a few toy sales coming up. I will put the picture in now. We now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. We've spent 50 as well, sorry. So 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 335 pounds in total. Brilliant. I'd like to have like done this because we're now in September. I'd love to do this all again next year, but be like completing it way earlier in the year. I feel like we're a little bit behind with it. I say that every week, but what can you do? Things crop up in life, don't they? Things need fixing. 
and sometimes you just got to put your money elsewhere so yeah 30 pounds so i'm going to do two grinches and two hats i'll be back in a minute yay we've just got 40 pounds left now then our boys are fully funded for christmas so love that cool trapped them i trapped the money i trapped it again right there we go so that's the christmas binder finished for now next up we have our low priority binder which is this gorgeous brown one like a rusty chocolatey brown the bits hang out though these wide rings are they sort of push the envelopes out but it doesn't bother me but it might bother some people isn't she pretty so Again, lovely dashboard by Bethany Budgets. Amazing quality. She does custom, so anything you've got in mind, she brings to life and she does it really well. <laughs> so in here, we are going to put £5 into gifts. My little boy has a birthday party coming up soon for one of his classmates. And yeah, so I thought, let's get putting some fibres in here again. Uh, birthday parties will be in full swing, but we don't really go to many of them, I'm not going to lie. Probably go to about, I don't know not even every other one because we like we like like doing things on our weekends um birthday parties aren't my favorite but i will go if the kiddies really want to go to them then i, I will go if we're free i will go do you know what i mean if we don't have any plans five pounds into future events there's now 10 pounds in there for future bits in the future obviously <laughs> self-explanatory that's done so now we have got two fibers left and £10, £10 coins there for our challenge binder. Now, there's a bit of a twist with my challenge binder now because instead of putting the money in each individual challenge, what I'm going to do is all the money is going into... Oh, look, isn't he cute? My little hedgehog. And this is a new release. I did share it all. This comes with challenges. This is a coin bag again. Look at the back. Oh. How cute. Oh, it melts my heart. So, yep, yeah, this is Hogging the Money. And this is the new bundle that's going up in my shop. It comes with free challenges. And, yeah, I thought I'd use him um, to put all the money in because then I don't have random... This this won't get too heavy and I like to change up the money. So, say, if I hit £5 coins in here, I can just swap it in here for a fiver. It'd just, just be easier for me. And I'm going to give him a name, but I don't know... Something old manish. I'm thinking like, hmm, Herbert, Herbie, Her -her 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 Herman, Herman. Are you a Herman? Maybe a Herman. Maybe Herman. I'm gonna go with Herman. I think we'll see. <laughs> I'll decide. Let me know. What's a cute H H old man name? Right. So challenge binder. We always start with our dilly dally dots and i haven't changed the colors yet so i will quickly do that a second and then i'll come back there we go so we've got orange for one brown for three five is gray two is black four is green and six is like a purpley pinky burgundy <laughs> whatever colors i could grab that was the most autumnal out of all of my sharpies so let's pop herbie or herbert or I don't know what to call him, to the side and do some rolling. Four. And a five. So that's nine pounds going in to fill the dots. So four is so green. And a five was grey. So let's do a green and grey dot. ideal that seems to be the word of today <laughs> so let's pop these in and take a pound out let's do that so i'm spreading 20 quid between my in my binder today take a pound out lovely so we have got 11 pounds in here let's pop let's just oh we're having a malfunction Let's just move all these bits around. There we go. Make a bit more room. So, what's up, witches? Let's start this today. 
This is really cool. I like the shape of this. It's just a bit different, isn't it? So this is from Save with Sophie. And it was part of a swap that me and her did. So thanks, Sophie. And let's do a two pounds on here. There's a little two pound bubble there. Nice. Two pounds into my little hedgehog. Oh, he's hogging all the money. He's so cute. You can hog my money anytime, honey. So let's pop the two, the uh, thingy back in there. Lovely. What's up next? Hibernation Hustle. Yes. Let's start this one off. So this is one of the challenges that comes with the little hedgehog. They're not all hedgehog related, by the way. Um, just this one. <laughs> it's a lovely brown, chocolate brown foil. So I'm going to do every icon is going to be... We just do one pound for each icon, yeah, because a lot of these challenges in here are a little bit heavier. So, look, I, I like to have a few that are just one pound or two pound, and then the rest have got like fivers and stuff like that. So, let's do the brown acorn today. So, he has to hibernate 10 items for hibernation. So, let's start him off with a little acorn today. Very sweet. I uh, love it when all the acorns fall from the trees. Cute. That'll all be happening soon, won't it? So lovely. That's that one done. Another pound into Mr. Hog. Do you see what I mean? Because then when it hits like five or ten pounds, I can just swap it easy enough for a, for a note. Whereas if they're all building up in here, the binder just gets so heavy. So that's him done love potion do i start that today i can't start them all today obviously let's do some of the matching game so this was gifted to me from jj budgets and it's so cute proper autumn vibe so let's do this one today and each little pair i'm going to do a pound for so let's do as we keep talking about hedgehogs let's do the two hedgehog icons for a pound each pair Save a pound. Cool. Cutesy. <laughs> Love that. It's nice to have some new fresh challenges because it does get a bit boring after a while, doesn't it? Doing the same old ones. Let's do what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. So, shall we do. Oh. Spooky scratch off, or oh, better not, just in case it's a tenner. Or shall we risk it? Should we risk it and do a... Yeah, let's do a scratch off. I've never done one before. If it's £10, then next week I owe it whatever I don't have in that pot. Let's be cheeky. Let's use one of these pound coins. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this one because it's got something hanging out and I wanted to know what it is ever since I received it. <laughs> this is from the Rockin' Witch, Eva. And let's see what it is omg of course it's 10 of course it's 10 my first go <laughs> cool so that was short and sweet guys i'll put all of that in the in the hedgehog and then next week i'll remember to owe it i think it's free well oh, these are cute though look at that look at that moon cool so this saves 65 in total so that's probably one of the biggest things you can actually scratch off so what have we got here we've got one two three four five six seven pounds so we owe this challenge three pounds for next week Look. oh i love him he's so cool lovely so that's that done it was fun to do one of those actually i always see everyone doing them and i think oh i want to go so there we go that is the video complete for the week i hope you're all really good I look forward to watching everyone's videos, although I'm really, really behind. Um, so behind with so many channels. So, yeah. I will see you next week, guys. Thanks so much for watching.